Hey, good afternoon, everybody, or good day. Happy whatever time it is to you. Um, I'm on my way to the gym right now. I had a dentist appointment earlier. Can't you tell by my beautiful teeth? Ding! I'll add that sound effect in later. Today, I have a cool day because I said it's the gym. Uh, then I have audition for something because I'm an actor. And then later on, I have audition for a runway show for LA Fashion Week because I'm a model. What? And uh, not to make too big of a deal out of it, but it's my first runway show audition because this shit is new to me and I'm excited to share it with you. So uh, follow me along, let's kick some butt. Um, there's a package being delivered to my house right now, hold on. Yeah, is that for Thomas? Yeah. Hey, hey, cool, cool, let me, let me take a look at that. No, it's okay. Oh, thank you. You too. So I have another YouTube channel where I review breakfast cereal and talk about stuff like that. <laughs> a cereal snob and General Mills, the cereal company, sends me packages from time to time. What, what? You can't read that, my bad, but I promise you I'm not lying. It's leg day in the gym, which thank God, because right now it's not too busy. Um, and not too busy is what I like, because then I can get my leg stuff done. I'm gonna start up with some cardio, take 20 minutes, because I feel good about that. <laughs> Sweat my ass off. Then I'm gonna go into some stretches. I'm gonna work really hard in the leg press machine. And then uh, we always end my workouts with abs because abs are important. And don't forget to check yourself out after you're done working out at the gym because you should, you deserve to, and not to be a narcissist, but to just look and enjoy the work you put in and how much it's paying off. I'm at an audition right now and I'm late, go figure this is how it works. Uh, then my agent got me because I'm an actor. I'm wearing this outfit. It said, wear an outfit that reminds you or that, that you like or it's important to you, which um, to be honest, I just really like this hoodie and, and I really like it comboed with this vest and these camo pants I think are awesome. So uh, wish me luck and I'll catch you guys once I'm done. I am doing what you have to do in Hollywood. Pain your meter because you were somewhere longer than you thought you were going to be. And I am approved so finally I can go back and hopefully not get hit by a car. Still waiting. A lot of waiting. 30 minutes now. Okay, here I am feeding my meter again because goddamn, I don't want a parking ticket. Oh, shit. I made it. Okay, hold on. Oh, oh God. How long could it possibly be? It's 75 cents or a dollar an hour, so I'm just gonna pay 75 cents. So I'm in line waiting. It should not take that long. I ran here, as you saw. Uh, we want 45 minutes. Okay, let's go. Whew. This is a. Uh, it's Bonobos, the commercial I'm auditioning for. It's a clothing store. They measure me. Uh, things look good, but I look great in clothes. I mean, I'm teasing because I don't look great in everything. But man, you know, sometimes I look pretty good. So the audition. <laughs> I look at, I keep looking at myself. I hate looking at myself. Okay, so the audition's done. Uh, they had us just kind of hang out, talk about ourselves for a second. They asked me something that I was ashamed of or proud of on my body. Uh, and I told them about how, I'm, I'm tall, I gotta go through trees. How uh, I had skin cancer like twice when I was, uh, well, once when I was 16, it was melanoma. And another time when I was 23. So I had these like two pretty big scars on my body that people were like, whoa, what are those scars from? Um, and I used to be like ashamed of them, you know, it's just like a scar and scars are like Imperfections, but uh, it's something I'm really proud of now and I told them because Like I was a teenager and I beat cancer and I was in 20 and I or in my in my early 20s and I did it again and uh, if something like that were to happen again fingers crossed it doesn't uh, <laughs> I'm okay, and I feel like I'll make it through you know what I'm saying so uh, that's where I'm at and uh, it's my life right now now I have my modeling casting call, which I have to go to, but I have to print off some call sheets first. Thanks to a very nice guy in FedEx named Salvador. He helped me cut them too, so they're all looking good. I got 20 of them. My agent was like, don't print off too many. Those are temporary. And I'm like, I won't. I'm going to spend more money than I need to. But uh, on to the modeling thing, which I don't know how it's going to go because I've never done a modeling audition type. But apparently it's at a restaurant, at a bar. Sounds kind of sketch, but my agent said he swears it's legit. I'll let you know if I get raped. Barely see, but look at this. See all those people waiting in line? Those are all the attractive models that are waiting to do the exact same thing that I am. LA Fashion Week, whoop whoop. Okay, here is the line, check it out. We're all waiting outside this restaurant. It's got really cool decor. Uh, but also, we're waiting. That's lame. We're waiting. Hmm. Okay, so you guys wouldn't believe this. 
Um, I, I had to go print those comp cards off, which I told you were terrible. And the lady who was collecting them, uh, which was one of the designers, or she organized this, I'm not really sure, to be fair. Uh, but she got my comp card, looked at me, and was like, okay, you can go. I was like, oh, what do you mean by that? And she's like, I, I mean, I think the comp card's enough. You don't need to go inside. And apparently the whole thing of these walks is uh, you have to just walk in front of these designers so they can envision you in their clothes and design clothes for you to model, right? And uh, I was like, oh, and she just kept walking. And I was like, that's it? I drove my ass all the way down here to waste time not doing what I came here to do? So I called my agent. My agent's like, no, go, go figure it out. Talk to her. Tell her I need to know more. So I, I'm like, hey, my agent just wants to know if I'm going to walk. She's like, look. Let me see your comp card. She's like, tell, go in there. Don't tell, tell me you don't have a comp card. And, uh, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So I, I checked with them. All right, so I waited. I went in. I did a walk. And um, which is interesting because as a guy, they're like, lift up your shirt. Let's see your body. So I just show them. Uh, I just show them my, my body, which is like a normal human body. And uh, it was just a really, really interesting experience but then um the guy who was like helping organize this he's like give me your instagram i'll connect with you and uh here's my phone number so that's kind of cool and it's all right it gets any, it's a connection and uh that's what i need and i got two tickets to uh to, to la fashion week plus one guest so uh two so that means i should bring a date or something right right anyways now i'm gonna go hang out with my agent and uh hopefully have a really good night um i'm signing off for now that's the end of my day if I have another interesting day soon, um, which I do frequently, I think, I will let you guys know. Um, I don't care if you click like, I don't care if you subscribe, but if you want to, great! Not done, down here at the LA, downtown LA Art Walk hangout with my buddy Edgar. And uh, you gotta wave, okay. And uh, we're gonna get some food and check out the town's art. Have a good night. Clifton, he just showed me this place. It's amazing. There's another floor. What? Welcome to March 9th, 2018, everybody. This is, I guess, the official end of the episode. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to watch Barney all the time. And at the end of every Barney episode, it's, he'd say, Hello again to all my friends. I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never end. Here's so what here's we what we did today. today. And he'd recap everything they did that whole episode and what you learned, whether it was colors, songs, friendship, life lessons, you name it. But I thought maybe it'd be kind of fun to do it with my vlogs, too. So yesterday was really cool because I had my first ever modeling audition, which uh, apparently you just go there and you're supposed to wear very plain form-fitting clothing. Lesson learned there, don't wear like your punk 90s boy band look. Uh, and they have you run or walk in front of these designers. So I didn't even know that was part of it. Uh, I learned that if you don't have a good comp card, which I don't think I do, and I don't, I mean, I know I don't. Uh, they don't care how you actually look. They're only going to care about your card. So next time, bring a better card. And um, that lady who I told you about, who told me I could just leave, past version of me would have totally just left. But current version of me said, no, I deserve to be here because I let her like get to me for a second. My confidence is like, whoa, am I too tall? Am I not attractive enough to be a model? Because my agent thinks I'm good. Enough. I'm like model looking enough, you know? And it's like, uh, and I have my own doubts about being a model anyway. So I was like, no. I'm confident something's wrong here. She's not telling me something. So I just figured it out. And I was so glad I figured it out, got down to business and actually got to do the audition because I grew. If I didn't do that little runway walk, which someone was like, ooh, he's got a good walk. And I was like, bada bing, bada boom, I win. That's all I need. And I felt so, so good. And 
Uh, I learned I should pay more money in the meters just from the get-go. I need to stop trying to be a cheapskate. It's like it's like a dollar, right? Um, I hate paying for parking. That's just one thing I have to accept when I live in Hollywood, though. It's just what we do. And uh, what else did I learn? I guess after everything, and I met up with my buddy Oscar, we went out of the town for the LA Art Walk, which you saw, which was so, so cool. And then we just went to a couple different bars that I had never been to, and it made me realize there is so much to Los Angeles that I have yet to discover. And there's so many like little pocket neighborhoods and every single one has its own style and flavor and history and I'm so beyond excited to check all that stuff out. And I just had such a good day yesterday and I'm so excited for today and tomorrow and this coming week. A couple things that I'm really excited about that I promise you I'm gonna post about on the this show is um, I'm gonna see my daughter, hopefully, uh, sometime next few days and travel back to Arizona. I will bring you guys along for that. And then I have Beyond Wonderland, which is my first rave festival uh, with my best friend and a ton of other people that I've met recently. And I am so beyond excited for that. I can't even tell you. I've discovered that's basically like my church. And uh, I love dancing on the dance floor <laughs> and just having the best time to dance to a lot of music, cool lights, and. Uh, lasers and you name it. Just everyone's so friendly and fun and it's gonna be good. So I'll bring you guys along for that and I wanna say thanks. Uh, I don't know what anyone is supposed to get from vlogs of someone else. I just know sometimes it's interesting to watch someone else's life and maybe pick up some of the lessons that they learn. So if you're gonna follow me, thank you. I think that's so cool. I'm hoping I don't disappoint and uh, I'm thinking, knowing even, that there's a whole lot of cool stuff coming down the line. Anyways, guys, uh, my name's Thomas. I'll talk to you again very soon, okay? Bye now.